this commentary video is brought to you by Six Flags America because there are so many red flags in this video, I lost count. You're giving money. me money. You're, you're giving me this. money. Yeah. I'm six nine right now. Carly, you're so goofy. Please. Please what? Are they our friend? She might have been your friend. Oh. <laughs> I don't I'm know. Sorry. I, I don't know though. I don't know how to take anybody right now. I feel you. I don't either. Imagine being a grown adult and dating a, a kid. Groomer. I know. I groomed it. Imagine me f***ing your dad. <laughs> <laughs> You're my sister. You can't say that. You hurt my feelings. Oh, my God. <laughs> well. Hi. So, that clip that you just saw was from a couple of days ago. And now, there have been, like, multiple stories on this live. This Hunter Echo dude, Millie Bobby Brown. But... This was one of the first clips that I saw, and all I can say is, this guy is a clown, and he's proud of it. But he's not too proud, because he had to make an apology, which we're going to get to, even though this guy said, I have nothing to apologize for, so I'm not apologizing. Couple disclaimers out there. I want to put it out there that Millie Bobby Brown's team has come out and said that a lot of stuff that this guy has said has been dishonest and stuff like that. But something I did pick up, I'm going to talk about it a little bit later as well, is that they never denied that this relationship happened. Also, there are pictures and stuff out there of this uh, Millie person and this Hunter person kissing and stuff. I will not be showing any of those photos because even at the time of recording, Millie Bobby Brown is still a minor, so I don't feel comfortable showing those kind of pictures to you. But if you really want to see it that bad, they are out there. Without further ado, let's get into this video. Hey, what is up everybody? Yes, all you legends out there, welcome. It's me, it's Malcolm, and I don't know where you're watching me on. Maybe it's your phone, your computer, your TV, your tablet, your laptop. Again, I don't know where or when or how you're watching me, but welcome back. Today, and I really do mean today. Today, we have two videos going up today. This will be the first. And yes, this is pre-recorded because I will be gone, I think, all day today from the day I'm posting this. I wanna talk about this because like everything about this was not okay. Everything that was said was not okay. You're gonna, you're about to hear a lot of like victim blaming. You're about to hear a lot of excuses in a second. This is more so of a rant video. I just have clips and like my pure reaction. I really don't have a script for this because there's really not much to say because this clown said everything that you could ever possibly hear. I will be censoring a lot of these clips and pretty much all of these clips because it's so disgusting the things that this dude has said. And I think his name is Hunter Echo, I don't really care. Now I think what makes this such a talking point for me personally is the fact that people were really defending this guy and not even on Twitter, on the Instagram live, I can't pull up all the, the comments that I saw on these Instagram live like clips, but pretty much uh, it was like a bunch of dude bros supporting it, obviously, we'll get to that. And then you have a lot of pick me girls that were just like, they did not care that this hunter dude was like 20 something years old messing with a 16 year old. But they were just like, oh my God, I wanna be next, which is a pick me. And if you don't know what a pick me is, a pick me is a person that defends a garbage person, no matter how trash they are, to the point where they would just love to be with them no matter what. And they will just excuse anything horrible that they did. That is the pick me. The very, very first clip I saw this was on Def Noodles Twitter. And speaking of Def Noodles, um, RIP, because uh, Def Noodles has been indefinitely suspended from his main account. He still has his alternate account, but pretty much this is where I saw this clip right here. Well, that child knew how to suck. <laughs> <laughs> she did. She did. She knew how to suck that. <laughs> and he died. Something like that. She did that. Yeah. And suck that. She did everything. I don't want to hear this she shit. She did. 
Okay, that's enough. Next. Come for that. You know that Millie can this. I'm your sister and I'm sitting right next to you. I'm sorry, you told me you told me that phone's like <laughs> you, Shut you told me that. That child sure knew how to suck. People are actually defending this by the way, but Mm. As you heard from the clip, it was heavily censored, I'm guessing, if I know me. Pretty much, he was like, yeah, that child sure knew. And speaking of voices in the background, that voice that you heard was his sister, and then I think there's also his friend in the background, which his friend did not do him any favors in one of the clips I'm gonna show you in a little bit. We'll get to that. But pretty much, this Hunter guy was braggadocious about Oh yeah, I did all these nasty things with this child. Again, people are defending this. Some people are actually defending this. Now, this Millie and Hunter guy probably, I, 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 like it's very unclear, but what's clear is that a relationship did happen. And then he, and he talks about it in a way that was just like, it was so casual, like he does this like every other day, like it's breathing to him. To the point where he actually like talked about something I don't think he was supposed to talk about on this Instagram live, uh, TikTok live. I can't remember which platform this was, but pretty much he talked about how he lived with Millie, uh, Millie Brown's parents for eight months and like the parents were okay with this behavior in this relationship, which, my God, these parents, I've heard about Millie Brown's parents before, and I've heard they were trash, and like this just kind of just confirmed it for me personally, which is not shocking at all. And there are pictures, like I've already talked about, where there's kissing, there's like relationship like photo looking things, and things like that. This is what I mean by your friends really just need to shut the F up sometimes because they'll just dig a deeper hole for you. One of the questions on this Instagram live, whatever, was who posted the pics? And before I even answer that question, Hunter Echo's friend answers it for me. Hey, who posted the pics? Hunter posted the pics. And his sister. No, 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 no. Did you see? how homeboy Hunter, Mr. Hunter Echo, don't really know his real name and I really don't care. All I know is that he's R. Kelly number three. And what I mean by R. Kelly number three is, if you don't know who R. Kelly is and what he's done, you're way too young to be watching this video, but thanks for the watch time anyway. All you need to know is that R. Kelly pretty much is like a synonymous nickname with people that just love underage girls. The second R. Kelly, which is another social media star. By this, this guy named Romeo Lacoste. Don't really care, I just know he was a tattoo artist that pretty much got exposed, and then he tried to double down and say there was loopholes and things, and that's how, why his relationship was okay with this 15-year-old girl. I really don't care. He came back to YouTube, but it seems like nobody's watching his videos anyway, so I don't know how long he's gonna stick around because everybody knows that he's trash. For future reference of this video, we're just gonna call Hunter Echo R. Kelly number three, and we're just gonna keep it going from there. Now, R. Kelly number three has a sister, and this is what I mean by I'm very confused about the whole thing, because the PR team for Millie Bobby Brown says, like, a lot of stuff was dishonest, but it doesn't help when R. Kelly number three's sister says things like this. And what about it? She was obsessed, in love, on his 24-7. It wasn't birthday. him. He talked about how weird the was. Yes, you heard her right. She says that homegirl was so obsessed and all this stuff that it, it's pretty much like, oh, he had no choice. He had to be with her. He had to, he had to kiss her. He had to do all these nasty and gross things with this minor. In case you missed that whole part, that is like pure victim blaming, but they are so privileged that they didn't really like expect the backlash for that. Also, this R. Kelly number three sister decided to double down and re-explain herself in messages to other people, 
and say, yeah, well, what else was he supposed to do? This is for you watching at home. Raise your hand if you had a child had a crush on you. Okay. Now, raise your hand if you actually let that child convince you to be in a relationship with them and take all these pictures with you. I'm guessing none of y'all raised your hands because you know dang well, as the adult, it is your responsibility, because, you know, it's your responsibility to be like, nah, you're way too young. We can't do that. That's wrong. Nope. He was just like, oh, yeah, we can kiss. We can do all that stuff. I don't care. I'm R. Kelly number three, and I'm proud of it. And just for, just for, uh, like, fun and giggles, I'm gonna throw this clip up for you in case you haven't realized how much of a clown R. Kelly number three is. Here's R. Kelly number three justifying using the F slur like more than once. If you ain't gay, why did you say the F slur? Why did I say f Because somebody called me. So that's why I said it. Because somebody, somebody said, look at this. Or whatever they said. That's why I said it. He says, I said the F slur because somebody called me the F slur. So I said it back. This guy is 20 something years old. Just want to make sure everybody knows that. Now, I just showed you clips. I really haven't really given my full thoughts because uh, my main thought is that this person is gross and disgusting and trash. So I really don't feel like I need to explain that I feel someone's trash at all. I'm glad I waited a couple days because we got an apology video. And if you saw from those clips and if you've seen more of those clips that I didn't show, you could tell that this guy was such like an alpha, dur, dur, like, oh, I'm not gonna apologize. I'm alpha, maverick, maverick, savage. That was his whole mantra. That was his whole attitude, right? And he said himself, I couldn't find the clip, but it's out there. He says, I'm not gonna apologize. I have nothing to apologize for. Roll the clip, please. As it was getting more and more negative in the comments, um, I probably live streamed for about two to three hours and in those two to three hours, I was getting more and more drunk. Um, so, after I kept seeing how negative the comments were and seeing or hearing or seeing whatever people were saying to me uh, when they don't know about anything, like ever, uh, it was getting me more and more irritated, like I said, and I just, in the alcohol, so then I became more careless and I said stuff that should have never been said. Um, but like, I, my natural instinct when I see people doing that kind of stuff or when I see what people were saying it's like I'm like okay so let's make it like way worse and let's so he says I was so drunk and I got so angry dar, dar, dar. like oh I'm an alpha I'm a savage I'm not gonna apologize how dare you say I did all these things that was him okay he says but he was so drunk that he got angry so angry that he was just like, you know what? Yeah, I did all those things. Okay, another poll, because we can't do YouTube polls anymore, which YouTube, fix it. Another poll, for you at home, how many people at home have been drunk? I have a bottle of styles of tequila and Tito's vodka right over there. I haven't drunk it in months, it just kind of sits there. Looks good though. I might drink it after this video because I definitely need it. Here's the question. How many of you, while drunk, have said you've done all these sexual explicit things with a minor and bragged about it on social media on Instagram slash TikTok Live? Wow, shocking. Nobody raised their hands yet again because I think we all realize how disgusting and how gross it is to say all those things about your ex that A, some of it wasn't even true according to uh, Millie Bobby Brown's PR team and B, um, it's just we, we, we know not to joke around about doing stuff with minors. I think, I think we all should know that. So 
saying that alcohol made him say all those things was the most ridiculous, I'm the victim, I shouldn't have said those things that I've ever heard. Trash explanation, trash person. Thanks for coming to my TED Talk. Now I wanna talk about what uh, Millie uh, Bobby Brown's uh, reps said to TMZ, which was like a classic PR, let's cover this now, let's not talk about this anymore, let's just get it out the way right now. The 17 year old actress reps said the following, Mr. R. Kelly's remarks on social media are not only dishonest, but are also irresponsible, offensive, and hateful. Instead of engaging in a public discourse with him through the press or on social media, we are taking action to ensure that he stops his behavior once and for all, which led to that apology. Again, I kid you not, people were actually defending this guy saying, well, the age of consent is like 16 in some states or wherever they were. Victim blaming is a word. I'm just saying. People are saying that because, you know, she was 16 and she decided she wanted this relationship, it's all on her that all these things happened to her. I kid you not, that's really what people were saying online is that, well, she's 16, she knew what she was getting into. How come when it comes to all these trash men, especially men, how is it that these trash men just get off pretty much almost easy all the time. I think even like a couple of weeks ago, Drake Bell actually only got two years or two months probation for messing around with an underage minor. He didn't even get any jail time. You have James Charles who admitted to doing things and then took it back. So now all his fans are like, James Charles didn't admit to anything. What are you talking about? I'm gonna lose my mind because like, it seems like it was about to happen again, but Millie Bobby Brown is like a mainstream star. Like she's on Stranger Things. That's like one of the most popular Netflix shows in a while. So you really think that her team is gonna be like, oh yeah, we're gonna let this guy slide. No, they did not. They said that we were gonna handle everything offline which I think resulted in that apology where he was like, I was drunk and I just said things I shouldn't have said. But here's the thing, Mr. R. Kelly number three, you did say it and now you can't take it back. You can say all the excuses you want, like, oh, I was drunk. Oh, like none of y'all know what happened. None of that was true. There's a little truth in every jokey joke, Mr. R. Kelly number three. You are going to live forever being known as someone that said all these things and bragged about it and said, y'all are making me money. That is who you are. Don't feel bad for you. Don't know how popular you were on social media anyway. It seems like you had, what, 100,000 Instagram followers, a million TikTok followers, cool. You'll forever be known for that Instagram live. It's gonna follow you. You're gonna say it wasn't true. I didn't mean any of that. But, you know, internet is forever. Once again, it is Malcolm, oh, that's me. I have a lovely subscription button up here. I also have two other videos over there for your own free time. Without further ado, I wish you well, I wish you good health, and I will see you again next time.